The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to the Girls of 28A. I'm Trisha Centenero. I'm Bianca Valerio. And I'm Julia Snigowski. So and how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in floral. What are you doing? Okay. So wait, hang on. How was your day today, Bianca? Um, obviously, I, every, I need to show this dress. I need to justify. So. She looks like the separate so one. Cute. Yeah, I, I, I do look like a separate one. Everybody dancing, we'd like to do it. Yeah, so I want to thank the folks at Belle Du Jour, BDJ Box at Mall of Asia. I gave a beauty talk today, so I just want to thank them, hence why the girly outfit. So I gave a beauty talk, so very exciting. Julia, what did you do today? Uh, my day was super relaxing and um, hang, hung out with a dear, dear friend, caught up on some writing. Boring. We didn't, about do, you? we didn't do Sunday markets today. We usually always do Sunday yeah. markets and we didn't. So, but anyway. Let's welcome our guest. Yeah, Jennifer. actually, so tonight we have Mika Javier, and these two right here make up the dance duo Sentier. So it's a bit different because Trisha, as you know, well, obviously, is part of 28A, and the tables have been turned. Yeah. So we're going to be, Bianca and I will be kind of grilling them two together. I know, together. I'm on the other side of exactly. it. Exactly. On the other side of the fence tonight. Exactly. Exactly. You're so not our friend. <laughs> Mika's on my side, it's okay. We're ready. But before we get into all of this, um, we have a video, right, that we would like to show you guys. So yeah, because we are talking about the dance too. Here, yeah, check out their moves. Hi, I'm Trisha Centenera. I have been dancing since I was three years old. I did all of my training in Australia. I'm here doing um, Centier because I love dancing basically and Mika, who's the other half, is, um, is an amazing girl and I just love being on stage with her. Hi, my name is Mika Javier and I'm one half of Centier, a dance duo I started with Trisha Centenera. Um, I have been dancing since I was a little girl, first with Halili Cruz Ballet here in Manila. I've done power dance and majority of my training in jazz and modern have been with International School Manila's dance company. And then I trained in New York City at Broadway Dance Center. And now I'm back here doing Centier with Trish. And all that jazz. Come on. stressful day doing that video. You did our, you did our, uh, no, no for the Supreme Show, which we'll be talking about later. Carla Humphreys. Humphreys did our makeup oh, for that that's one. that's right. She did. Okay, so, so amazing, seriously. I, I, when I actually saw it, I was like, he's my friend. <laughs> They're my friends. <laughs> I was so proud. Okay, wait, why don't we get started first with Sentier. So a lot of people are wondering, why is it called Sentier? It's a, it's a bit of a tricky name, right? So why don't we explain to everybody how that came about? Well, when we were thinking of our dance duo name, we didn't want it to be something easily joked about. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so it could have been two Booty girls shake. that fly. We didn't want girls. We knew what Booty we didn't want in there. Yeah. So we decided to put our last names together. Trisha Centenera and Nika Javier just kind of fit and it plays with the word center which 
is the, the essence, essence of, of dancing. dancing. Oh, so what does center mean in dancing? Well, you need to have a very strong center when it comes to dancing to do all your pirouettes, and it really is the basis of everything, really. Mm -hmm. Your center's off, well, then you're off. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works out because that has such a great ring to it, Sentier, so... It's quite almost harsh. like they are the center of the show, like yeah, the exactly, focal point. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. So how did how did this come together? Or, I mean, did you guys know each other before? Because this, this happened last year that you guys formed Sentier. Actually, we just met about a week before we conceptualized our dance duo. Mm -hmm. So tell us about One of those fashion balls. Esquire. We were at Esquire. Um, Esquire. And basically what happened was... Um, uh, where we, W, talent management, yeah. oh my gosh, I'm blank. Um, and Pia Campos knew that I was a dancer and she always wanted me to pursue dancing more. Um, but the thing was, I didn't have a dance partner. And then, lo and behold, Mika came back, and I just back, came from, back New York. from New York looking for, you know, other projects to do besides my singing stuff to keep me occupied and keep me on my toes with my... Keep you fit. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> keep me fit. Um, I had a talk with Pia and she just brought it up and said, hey, there's this girl, Trisha. Oh, I just met her. She's yeah. freaking cool. And, you know, we're about the same height. We have the same build. We have the same, the same training. Same we have the same oh, training yeah, as well. Yeah. Um, so we decided to give it a shot. What do you mean the same training? Well, I um, majored in contemporary dance at the, the Center of Performing Arts in Australia. Mm -hmm. And Mika, she majored. Did you major in contemporary as well? I, I didn't. And I major. I didn't take up dance, but I did. I was with a dance company in high school mm -hmm. that that focused on modern contemporary mm -hmm. jazz. So that was the most professional training, I think, because it was it was really intense dance yeah. every day for three hours, but. You know, she had the same similar background, and mm -hmm. we kind of figured we moved the same once we got into into the dance studio, and that's. It. So you guys, so your manager, our manager, what am I saying? Like hooked you guys up, and you saw each other, and it was the angels. Ah, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. And you know what the funny thing is, when we got when we first got put together. Um, we didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what her work ethics were like. I didn't know, you know, all those kind of things. Yeah. And it was like a, it was like a marriage, pretty much. What well, it is to like a marriage. <laughs> yeah. So we. It's um, nerve wracking when when you're trying to be in a group because of personality and yeah. you know there's so all, mm -hmm. all these different factors that you need to consider when you're working with someone that closely. Mm -hmm. um, so we actually there there are um, ideas of adding more girls into the group and we were kind of just like no no, no I mean, because originally, it originally it originally was supposed to be three it was yeah. supposed to be three but no. then when we met each other and we had our first rehearsal we mika called pia and i called pia and i was like i'm happy to work with her by myself because you know <laughs> i love <her. laughs> I don't know if I should tell you this, Mika, but I remember that you know you were all, we were looking for a dance duo, and all these different girls were mentioned. But yeah, none of them were really have the same background mm -hmm. or training as you. Mm -hmm. And then one day, she's like, Julia, I found her. I have a little girl crush. She's like she's perfect. We look so good together. And I was like, oh, okay. That's right. You're at my house yeah, eating pizza. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And as for me, when they did their um. Apart from that video that you guys saw for their photo shoots and other and other, your first um, public performance for the Shivas, Shivas. Um. I got to do their makeup, and you know when I put makeup on somebody, it's like it's like they're my children. Yeah. So imagine having to do it on Trisha and Mika. It was like. <laughs> she was a proud mama. She was a proud you proud mama. You made a proud mama. Like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. proud of mama. I I'm like, like yeah, yeah, such a nurturer. And it was really nice because I remember when it was at Republic, it was for the Shiva's event, <clears throat> and they had beautiful costumes which were made by Poi Quinones. Yes, yeah. Poi Quinones, love you so much. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. making all of our costumes and fixing our beads every time we break them. <laughs> our costumes are really durable. Actually. I think our costumes are a stamp of what Centier stand. Oh, yeah. We really, we really, um, we really pride ourselves on, on the costumes that Poi Canonas makes for us. Um, because sometimes I have to admit, you know, when you say a dance group, 
some dance groups can look a little tacky, yeah, right? Completely. Exactly. And that's why with them, it's so classy. Like their costumes just in itself without them wearing it, it's so heavy. They're, yeah, they're yeah. so heavy. When we had our first rehearsal for our second show, which was uh, the seventh high anniversary, yeah. which Mika and I actually co-hosted together as well, which was very nerve wracking. Um, we were the costumes were so heavy and we had to do all those pirouettes yeah Ugh. to the point that when we had our first rehearsal our center was off because all the beads are on the front so every time we do our pirouettes it was pulling us forward so it took a while to get used to which is why you have dress rehearsals i love how julie and i are going mm -hmm. we have we no sell. idea <laughs> we have no idea what they're talking about we're like oh your center is off yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I know what a nose line is. I think we have pictures and, yeah. of um, Mika and I in... But <laughs> that was a, we actually that's how we go to a show in our dance clothes because we, we need to, to warm up, warm up and, and stretch and... You guys look like twins. Have rehearsals and things like that. <laughs> well, that's the thing. The, the point is that we, we do yeah. look like twins. And surprisingly enough, Mika and I always end up dressing the same or we never ever talk about what we're gonna wear <laughs> whether it's a dance rehearsals or out or anything it's and true. we always end up looking the same is it yeah like today we have the same necklace we on. have the same necklace on which she got her necklace from new york and i got mine from australia match made in heaven made which in goes heaven. to Sign. show <laughs> which goes to show i am not part of this venture <laughs> but we're part of the red shoe crew tonight <laughs> Um, anyway, and then, so this, the last show that we did was for SSI, we danced for their 25th anniversary. Um, SSI is Store fun. Specialist Incorporated. For those oh, and oh, there, this one. I hosted the event for, okay, let's do it one by one. Okay. So the one where they were, okay, let's start with this one. Yeah. This was for the launch of um, Sofitel Vitura. Vitura is basically a, I got this right. The Philippines first all natural aesthetic lifestyle institute. I had to laugh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. yeah. So basically, <laughs> they were the performer performers of the night. They opened the show, and it was really so beautiful. They danced to a track. From Which we learned the day before. We choreographed it out. We usually have a choreographer. Yeah. No. Okay. Can I make this scratch? I'm so sorry. Okay. So we were in Nivea, which you guys are going to get to see next week. Next okay. Week. So we were in the bus um, in Palawan and it was a two and a half hour ride on the bumpiest bus ride in the world. Okay. Oh, God. And me, put me in a car. I will fall asleep in five minutes. I don't care how bumpy the ride is. And you can see Trisha beside me as I'm like passed out. Julia is literally the skinny girl. She is lying down on the, on the, the bus and here's Trisha going like this with her headphones <laughs> and I'm like are you not Tanya she said can I borrow your notebook I'm like I'm sleeping I want to borrow your notebook now and she took notes and she was just I was choreographing our routine because we got I booked. missed this I because was passed out you were passed out or reading Time magazine um basically <laughs> she literally was um what happens every show when we get booked for every client we um will choreograph a new routine specifically for the client and for whatever mm -hmm. brand it is and etc so we, we're not regurgitating the same things over and over again so when we got booked for this show Mika was I actually was still, still in, in LA she's she was still in was LA in the US. um recording and um we got the phone call and I was away with Nivea and I was writing and chore choreographing and my, had my earphones on and I remember Paolo Barriso, he was sitting behind me in the bus yes. and he kept looking over and he was like, what, what is she doing? doing? <laughs> because my notes were all squ squiggles and scribbles because when I did my performing arts diploma we learned how to take shorthand for dancing. Yeah. Oh, um, which could turn out really well. So when Mika and I got back together, literally the morning of the dress rehearsal, which was the day before the show, yes. Mika flew in. Yeah. And, we, and we had about three hours to put together hours. the whole routine. Yeah. Actually, and weren't you ill right before? Yeah, I just got out of the hospital. Was Ill. <laughs> Super. She had food poisoning. Ooh. It was it was pretty food poisoning insane. and jet lag. Combined yeah. and three hours we put together an amazing we show. Put together amazing an amazing show. show, amazing show. Okay, so during rehearsals, okay, I am the most technologically challenged person in the world. So Trisha's like, okay, you gotta take our video so that we can critique ourselves. So I'm like super all all the waiters and waitresses behind so off Sofitel were right behind me. They're watching that. I'm like, girls, you're so good. And I didn't realize I never press record. <laughs> 
It was lovely. Thank God they had to do it again. She made us do it again. She made us do it again. Actually, there was a part in the... You did press record, but then what happened was just before we started, I semi blacked out from being ill. And as I went to as I went to drop down to the ground, you were like, oh, oh, and you pressed stop. I have oh, footage of like seven seconds. Okay. But then I was fine. I stood straight back up. So when you lifted it up, I was trying you to rescue know, you. She was trying to rescue. I was trying to rescue you. Oh, so this was not the Sophie Tell Spa launch. But what other yeah. what other shows have you guys done? Yeah. Like I'd like to hear about that. Uh, what else have we done? We have done. <laughs> so we're all black acting out outing right now. Oh my god. Okay, there's so the Shiva. The Shiva Swan at Republic, the seventh high. Which the is disco, disco dancing. Yeah, why don't we disco. talk about the most recent one, which is the SSI anniversary. So SSI basically stands for Store Specialist Incorporated. And for those of you who are watching internationally, Store SSI is basically they pretty much own all the major malls. They're the they're the company that carries all the luxury brands, Gucci. Um, help me out here, Prada, um, Baji Mishka, Super Dry, all, uh, everything. Sherry, Sherry Yeah, so basically, Chariot? yeah, Sherry, Philip Sherry um, Jimmy Choo, they basically carry all the main brands that you see in stores. Fish and it was their 25th anniversary. Well, I'm an yeah. ambassador for Super Dry. So yeah. they knew that I was dancing before. So they rang us the night before. Well, we got the phone call. I was in Ponte Fuego and I got a phone call. And <laughs> you're in Batangas. I was in Batangas. And again, we had to like make a dash for Manila, <laughs> choreograph Drop everything something, and, drive to and Manila get on stage. To um, so it was good. You know, I think because there was only two of us, it works well that we can kind of get yeah. our shit together really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, but we've done some really fun photo shoots where you've, yes. done, where you've done our makeup for. Um, this um, was for Supreme, the Supreme section of. Ooh, so this is the Philippine star. Yes, so thank you, Tim oh, Yap, for you. and David Milan Asking, and David Milan who directed it. Thank you so much for having us. Um, and of course, wearing jewel pearls, jewel pearls, jewel yeah. pearls, and then there are Poikonona's outfits. Um, that was a that was a really fun but exhausting day because shooting for I mean, how hard was that? We were like one, two, three. One, two, well, we try realized that shooting, shooting for dance photos is way harder than shooting for modeling or any Why? other type of photos because you're moving mm. and it's plus all the fringe. It's super hard to capture. <laughs> but it's like, <laughs> oh, stop. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Capturing moving, two moving people yeah. with elaborate costumes, hair and, and makeup make sure and make look good. Good. making your yeah. face look yeah. good is super hard. Right? Because when you're dancing, you're just kind of like, <clears throat> Yeah, and then to make me look pretty, and to get our costumes moving at the same time, mm. and oh, it was a tough. There was, there was one shoot that we did beforehand, though, um, where we came from a rehearsal, and do you remember I had the Could worst you day, and you were, you were like, Trish, hold it together. Yeah. I literally left crying because I was just. <laughs> it was such a hard shoot, doing splits and doing all this kind of stuff. I think that we have pictures of that as well, don't we? Yeah, there you that go. That day. Yes. Oh, you did our hair and makeup for that as well. Wait, you know, what is this for? This was us just from a rehearsal, basically. Okay. They I just promo pictures. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I want to share this uh, with, with everyone. Like I said, you know, the whole point of the show is how we all support each other and stuff. And that day, particularly like, like Mika, I, I wasn't very close to Mika yet, but Trisha was sort of having a bad day. And yeah. it was starting to show in her photos, and I'm there gobbling on pizza <laughs> on my break. Oh, oh so yeah. sure. this is amazing. When we were doing this photo, you were like, Trish, you get your toe pointed more, and and your ankle sickled, and then with you and your photo, I was like. Maybe your next two, but we we had to actually direct each other yeah. whilst yeah. doing the photos, and it was really hard. I just yeah, but we did it. With, I think we did well. Yeah, we did yeah, because it's there were some photos where it wasn't this one, but you were doing a couple of photos and you didn't want to smile or you were smiling. And I kept saying, "You shouted out." I remember yeah. saying, "Trish." I said, "It's showing on your face." I'm like, smile. "Get your shit together yeah. and smile." I go, "You're gonna regret it if I know right now you hate it, but these photos are forever." Mm. So tough smile. Life. Actually, my yeah. favorite yeah. photo of you of all time. I think it's from this day, it's her face, just a headshot and you know what I'm talking about, your hair is, it's the one and you're like, hugging your knees. Oh uh, yeah, I know that one. But, I know. but I super love this photo because it's technically yeah. sexy, 
but it's not. It's, yeah. yeah, it's, it's not, but it is. Good, it's <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Thanks for making us look good. I mean, come on, that makeup and everything. <laughs> but okay, so I remember that. Okay, so the the one at Sophie Tell, I I was too late. I went there and I didn't miss you, but I and I missed you guys. But I did watch you guys when you were at Republic. I think this was Shiva's. Yes, your very first event, and they actually had two tall white guys as their props. One of them was Andy. being my boyfriend. <laughs> And this was Mika's dance partner, and they were so great twirling you guys around, like doing dips, and I mean, well, one of them was a dancer, but my boyfriend's not. How, I mean, how- But he looks so good. But yes. Anyway. <laughs> he picked it off really well, but I was really scared. I'm not even gonna lie, I was so nervous, because at rehearsals, he dropped me. No oh, way, Andy. He did? He did. Oh, I, I left this. that show with holes on my tights oh my God, and my a pulled muscle. <laughs> well, okay, but. so he sucks as a dancer. Oh, no, but. <laughs> no, but then come showtime, he, he, performed. Got, he pulled it together. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, nothing went wrong with that performance. Yeah, I recorded it. Yeah. Apart from the fact that we're sleeping all over the floor. But, you know. But if you could <laughs> choose your very own partner, like out of, out of anyone here, who would you have chosen to dance with? Like? To dance with? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely someone that could dance. Oh. Is there a specific person? person? I mean, yeah. like literally, you get to pick anyone you want yeah. to like dip you and Patrick Swayze. I'm kidding. I'm Patrick, Patrick Swayze. Swayze. <laughs> <laughs> right? Come on. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Right? <laughs> Hello. Yeah. Dirty dancing. I was dance. happy with my partner, Peter. He was so good. You yeah. were happy he with your partner. <laughs> well, Peter's a professional dancer, He's and he happened dancer. to be in town modeling for three months and we so happened to meet him Smash and recommend yeah. yeah literally snatch that right up okay oh, why don't we talk about like challenges obviously we've seen how beautiful you guys dance and all that but for the people out there who think like it's a walk in the park or the people who want to be dancers like what are some of the challenges that you encounter like in training or doing shows <clears throat> i think for me if anything it's um injury to tell you the truth. Um, Could it be something like blatant injury or for example like you pull the muscle like you are you're talking about earlier like how much it is, does it affect your performance? Well luckily for me I haven't been so badly injured before that I wasn't able to perform. Yeah. So I think a big part of that um, comes with taking care of your body. You have to first of all be healthy and then you know, limber. You have to make sure you're stretching every day and making sure that you practice, you know, prior to actually doing a full out performance. Yeah. That's how you prevent injury. Yeah. Um, that's, a, that's a challenge because it's discipline. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, yeah. Practicing in itself is discipline. So it's, if you're doing something consistently, consistently every day, it's kind of hard to stick with it and not get bored. Mm -hmm. So. I guess it's more of a mental challenge yeah. than physical. I like that. So, it's definitely um, discipline. I think for me, over the years, it's just repeating. You know, even even when it comes to acting or when you're hosting and you're like, okay, there's this one word that I just can't remember, and it's, you know, you say it over and over and over. It's the same with dancing, really. You're really just looking at yourself in the mirror and doing the same step over and over and over again. I remember when Mika came back from LA, she was doing a lot of hip hop dancing and we were just about to go and do the contemporary one um, for Vitura. Yeah. And we had to do this prance around the stage. And I it was couldn't so funny because Mika couldn't do it. And it was the simplest ballet step ever. Um, we and literally had because her hip hop head was on, <laughs> so she kept going to break into this yeah, me dancing. And I, I, I was doing this crazy thing, and she was just like, "I can't figure out what you're doing." So we literally, for what a minute, walked around the studio, going like this: one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and arms and two. It was so. It was the base, most, most basic, elementary. It was yeah. elementary. It's like learning your ABC. But then after a while, then you were like, oh, that's it. I was like, switch that hip hop brain of yours off. It's hard. Because we don't do hip hop. Jazz time, cabaret. We, yeah, jazz and contemporary is what we, what we both do. So okay. we're in Manila. Yes. So I know that Trish has been dying to grill you like all night long. I, know. I think it's time. Okay, okay. 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 so we've talked about Saint-Hier and 
yes, you know, if you want to book us, <laughs> call uh, <laughs> Zeppelin Talent Management. <laughs> but no, um, we, I, kind of come to my 28A couch. Why okay. are you leaving me? I I know. Know. Wait, so let's get to know Mika Harvey a little bit. Exactly. I know I'm a twin, but I'm like, jumping ship, baby. <laughs> um, <laughs> boys. You're very career orientated, Mika. Like, you and I both are very career orientated. And we were talking about boys last time when we were doing our dress rehearsal. We were. We were, remember? We were, we were both sitting there saying how we're such typical Leos and how we both just have... Um, are you a Leo too? Yeah. Oh, you're both well, Leos. That's another thing that brought us closer. The fact that we were both Leos, we have the same attitude about a lot of things. And <laughs> yeah, I'm like, see? See, I tell you. It's funny because real. you know why? It's, it's um, Mika's one of six children. Seven. Seven children. Well, I'm one of seven actually as well. Um, <laughs> oh my god, we get out of town. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. And her dad, and like, the shack. Chicken, KFC. I'm just like, we were just like, this is too crazy. <laughs> we were exactly the same. And at the time, I was dating your cousin. Kind of cousin. Kind of cousin. Okay, um, that's a whole cousin. other episode. Oh, it was, well, we've already done that episode. Uh, we? Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did it. But yeah, so that's kind of what brought us back together. But you know, we never really, because we're so. Uh, focused on dancing and that all the time it's um, very rare that we get to, apart from if we're out or whatever um, that I can get a straight answer out of you about boys so what's the that's, that's kind of true though I've been so much trouble yeah, here's the thing I've because so much trouble. like during the Vatura um, during the Vatura launch and we all had um, lunch together at Circles and you know I, I know Mika but I don't know Mika and I you know I got to find out all these things about her and she really is such a dude <laughs> I am such, such a dude. dude no I love you that know why? I like guys I grew up with three brothers it was me and then three boys and for for the long for about eight years I was the only girl in a family full of boys so I grew up Kind of like a tomboy. I love it. I so. love it though. <laughs> I remember Does the that tomboy as well, but you take the cake. Because we just yeah. asked you, no. you know, like, like, like yeah. who's in your love life right now? Yeah, or she's dodging the question, people. Are you not seeing like, this? Are, are you, you seeing squeeze? anybody? Are you seeing anyone? <laughs> no. <laughs> that you can't be. That's the fake as well. No, because uh, you're putting me on the spot. Like That's the point. No, I'm not seeing anyone. <laughs> <laughs> She's single, ready to I mingle. I myself, oh. actually. Oh my god. So whoever you are that's seeing Mika is like, you are you are in trouble now, lady. I know. I think well, I'm the one who's in trouble. Have you got a boyfriend? Well, you have a boyfriend. No, I don't have a boyfriend. Have a boyfriend. I haven't had a boyfriend in so long. Okay, so actually. I have a question then. Oh, sorry. So you said you haven't had a boyfriend in so long, but you, you spent a lot of time in New York, right? So, and now you're here in the Philippines. Do you feel like it's easier or harder to date here? Like, do you like American guys or do you like Filipino guys? What's your type? I don't know. <laughs> this is a common, you know, this is, a okay. common question yeah. on the girls of 28A. I, I don't have a type, which by experience, like my exes have nothing mm, in, common. Like, in common with each other. It's basically my connection with whoever that person is. I'm big on that energy and connection and and you know chemistry chemistry biology <laughs> biology Scientology. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> that was hard. Um, so <laughs> Filipinos or Americans? I don't know. They just got Paula be her way. As long as you got the groove. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got the moves. Mika is a groovy girl on the dance floor. Like when we go out. Um, yeah, okay, I'm a professional dancer, but I don't bust moves on the dance floor. Mika is like up in your grill. And she's <laughs> like she's having a her show. Booty, and I'm literally like, Shaka horror. <laughs> because. <laughs> no, you dance too, girl. No, 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 I'll show you how Trisha no. dances. No, when Mika when dances, out. it's like Rihanna, JLo style. Like, I see this. Super, like, <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. And then can I show you how Trisha dances? It's like this. <laughs> no! I swear, I with her drink! <laughs> with her drink! It's like, seriously, Trish? Actually, no, you can't. Potty parade. That's true, you do the, shy, the side shuffle. You do, you do, drink. you do it. Yeah. And we're like, really? How do you dance in your ass? Let's get up and dance. Yeah, a little dance, please, before we wrap up. You dance up. how you dance when you're on. I'll dance how I dance when I'm out. Ready? Are you ready? 
and all that jazz. Why are we saying jazz? I'm going to know. I'm like Mommy. a sidestepper. Shy and bright like a diamond. Yeah, oh my god, that's a ah! <laughs> I'm like Shy a sidestepper. Shy bright like a diamond. <laughs> Maybe and I have like to do the cross grabbing like, thing. She does. She does this. She does this leg thing. Like, is that the doogie? I the cannot doogie? dance the doogie. What's the doogie? Do <laughs> the doogie, do, do, do. I can't Teach do that. Teach me how to do. That exactly. Do do. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys. Obviously, there is yeah. there is Club Twenty Eight A right here. <laughs> VIP seats. But that, I know that's her great. her lay oh, her. No. Her knee, that's, that's, the, that's the maker really move. I like that. I have really. no idea. Yeah, I, I, like, I like how she did the crotch scratch. And oh, I'm look. a side stepper. That's a really high, high note to end the show with, actually, you guys. Like, leave our viewers with that <laughs> image, like, brazed into their minds forever. And so thank you so much for showing us your hot, hot dance moves, Mika, Javier. And okay. sent here, we got a thing. And yeah. also, no, 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 that was a I'm very surprised though. Like, uh, Mika, you know, when, when she dances, she's all out, but she's so ladylike and poised and yeah. very restrained tonight. I, I didn't see that coming. And really? Is that yeah, Mika? Yeah. No, okay, yeah, this is how I am though. Yeah, this is how she is. But if you make me dance or put me on a stage or something, oh, voila. It's like, boom! <laughs> it's it's like, crazy. Oh, well. Hold the phone, people. Hold the phone. <laughs> anyway, thanks for coming and Thank you for having me. Okay. Thanks for having me. us. Yes. <laughs> having her sit next to me. I'm so glad, glad to be on the show. We did really that bad. Like, I think that it could have been worse. So, you know, we had a And thing. honestly, Julia is very kind tonight. She, she is really like a grilled tonight. cheese sandwich. Well, that's what I heard before coming here, though. She oh, warned. Nice. <laughs> I did warn her. I did. I was like, oh, I'm giving you all the secrets away to my own show. <laughs> but it was hard. Like, we're, I'm like batting on both, batting on both sides here. 28A sent here. But we have got a show coming up. Yes. No, yes. Oh, great. What is that? We do. We are dancing for um, the Philippine surf. Go surf. Go surf. There we it dance. is. In La Union. We are leaving. April 5th to 7th, I think. That's, those oh. are the dates. It's up behind us. <laughs> um, April 6th to 7th. It's in La Union and it's sponsored by Stoke and Land Rover and a whole bunch of other things. Um, our friend Jeff Ortega, he. Um, Actually, was I was going anyway because I surf, and then he actually asked Mika. Mika Harvey is actually a singer, mm -hmm. um, and she is signed with Timberland Records. But that's a whole other show. It's a whole uh, other show. Just teasing you with it though. But anyway, he asked her if she could sing at the event, and considering that I was going to be there already, he was like, "Oh my gosh, can Santiago do a cute little surfing thing? Yeah, a surf little round, round, so get around, pissed I can't I get, get to go to watch." <laughs> Okay. I don't know what song we're dancing to. I know. But <laughs> it's going to be cute and surfy and whatever. So that's just go, go surf. All right, is this an invitation for people to go up to? That's an invitation for people to go. All right, yeah. Yeah, guys. We're giving free surf, surf class. Free surf lessons, lessons all day long. And then there's, I know that there's DJ Yurik. There's a concert Yurik, at night. DJ Yurik's doing the, all the DJing for the beach party. Boom. Wow. So, yeah. So see yeah, here go. We'll there. Exactly. <laughs> Sounds okay. super fun. Yeah. Okay. Well, t unfortunately, I'll be in Boracay, but I wish Yeah, I you'll be in Bora and you'll be in Korea. I'll be in exactly. Korea. So, but we'll make it work. We're, we're going to be we'll supporting be each other. Yeah, we'll be there in exactly. spirit. In Hawaiian spirit. Exactly. So, so guys, please join us next week because we're also speaking of the beach. We're going to yeah. be kind of going over our Palau. And the girls of 28A went to Palau a few weeks ago. And also, Bianca got to do some. Yeah, I got to ride on the Brightling Jets when they were here for the um, hot air balloon festival basically we're going to be showing you guys videos from the stuff we've been doing outside yeah. of 28 and things that keep us busy mm -hmm. okay so uh, that's it guys um again we had uh, mika javier and trisha centenera for senior and Julia Singowski and myself, Bianca Valeria, live here from the Beyond the Box studios at One Rockwell. We are the girls of 28A and we are all here. here.